the edge of greatness. In many ways, that has been the story of the potential matchup between Isla Makhachev and Charles Oliveira. In a star-studded and a stacked lightweight division, the two men are clearly the best among their peers. On one hand, you have Isla Makhachev boasting an 11-fight winning streak and has been tipped by many to demonstrate the sort of dominance that his cousin Khabib Nurmagomedov had over the 155-pound division. And on the other side, Charles de Bronx Oliveira, a submission specialist that has demonstrated time and time again that he is unrelenting in his pursuit of GOAT status. Hello again and welcome to another video where we will be taking a deep look into one of the most potentially exciting main events of 2022 so far, the fight between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makhachev for the vacant lightweight championship. For many years, fans and followers of combat sports were denied perhaps the most exciting stylistic matchup of all time in Khabib taking on Tony Ferguson with both men in their respective primes. In the eyes of many, this was a matchup that could have put a dent in Khabib's unblemished record. Tony's ability from his back and insane cardio presented a real threat to the Russian, but for one reason or another, the fight never came to fruition. Fast forward a couple of years and it seems like the MMA gods have heard our prayers and presented us with an almost identical stylistic fight. Islam Makhachev is a pressure wrestler and grappler unlike any other in the lightweight division and not too dissimilar to Khabib. Charles Oliveira, on the other hand, is a wild and unorthodox striker with an elite submission game in a way that resembles Tony Ferguson. So, amidst some controversy and talking point, and to the delight of MMA fans around the world, Islam vs. Oliveira was officially booked in July of 2022. But what are the strengths and weaknesses of both men, and how would they eventually fare against each other come fight night? Charles Oliveira Still the lightweight champion in the eyes of many MMA fans around the world, Charles Oliveira is without a doubt one of the most complete fighters in the UFC. Having come through the favelas of Brazil and having to battle through heart problems at a young age, his story to the top of the UFC's most stacked division is nothing short of inspiring. Initially starting out at featherweight and eventually lightweight, he had mixed success, as further proved by his eight losses up until that point. He was clearly talented and unpredictable, but he was largely termed as a quitter who couldn't make the step up to the next level. But somewhere along the line, something changed for Charles Oliveira, which has seen him amass 11 consecutive wins in the UFC lightweight division. And even more impressive is that those wins have come against the likes of Tony Ferguson, Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier, and Justin Gaethje. He is an excellent submission artist and currently holds the record for the most submissions in the UFC history with 16 and the most finishes with 19. But his most underrated attribute is his striking, especially his Muay Thai. In a lot of his fights, he makes use of knees and elbows in the clinch to tire out his opponent and force them to make stupid decisions. He also possesses incredible heart and chin, as he has shown in a lot of his recent fights. In his fights against Dustin, Chandler, and Justin, Oliveira has been susceptible to hard shots and risky moments, but he has always found a way to rally and get the victory. But herein lies his biggest weakness, as we've seen with Tony Ferguson. A fighter can take so many big shots before his chin deteriorates completely and he becomes a shadow of himself. And moving forward, this is something Du Bronx must address if he wants to extend reign as champion, and especially if he hopes to get a dominant win over Islam Makhachev at UFC 280. Islam Makhachev Ever since it was announced that Islam would be joining the UFC, and over the course of his career, he has attracted comparisons with Khabib Nurmagomedov at every turn and with good reason as well. They both hail from Dagestan and its outskirts. They both are sambo and wrestling specialists, and they both have pretty similar beard style. But from what we've seen in his UFC fights, Islam might just be an upgrade on the lightweight GOAT. Khabib was a dominant wrestler who could take anyone down at will. But a part of his game that wasn't as polished as modern UFC fighters was his striking, and that is where Islam excels. Regardless of all his grappling prowess, Makhachev is a more than capable striker and is capable of standing with the best. He throws great kicks, has insane angles, and is always capable of knocking out his opponent with a single shot. But perhaps the major and only dent in Islam's resume and skill set is the fact 
that of his 11 consecutive wins, none has really been an elite competition. His two highest profile wins have come against Dan Hooker and Bobby Green, both of whom are outside the lightweight top 10 rankings. But even with the lack of star-filled athletes in his resume, Islam is without a doubt a highly dominating fighter. So how would the fight between these two men go? Well, if you judge this fight by the current betting odds, then you are bound to favor the Russian. As of today, Islam is a 3-1 favorite against Oliveira, but should anyone be surprised by this? In four of his last five fights, Oliveira has entered the octagon as a massive underdog, but he has defied the odds to win impressively over and over again. And there is no reason to believe that this fight won't follow the same pattern. From what we've seen recently in his fights, it seems pretty difficult to count Oliver out given what he's done to four former champions. Now this isn't by any means discounting the ability of Islam, but the reality is that he hasn't fought enough high profile athletes as compared to Charles. Yes, he has been dominant and he can certainly dominate anyone in the lightweight division, but he hasn't done enough of it yet and it would certainly be wise to favor the Brazilian come fight night. So this is where we round it up for now. The main event of UFC 280 is truly every MMA fan's wet dream. And given how skilled both men are, it would go either way with both men having enough skill to finish the other on the feet or on the ground. But do let us know how you feel about this potential MMA classic and who will come out on top in the comment section below.